hey there ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing today? My name is Brendan Reviews and holy shit, just rounded out 2023. And I wanna go ahead and say thank you to everybody who stuck around through 2023 and just the kind of inconsistent upload schedule I had, even though I was trying to upload every Friday, sometimes it's hard to hit those deadlines just due to life. Oh brother, this guy stinks! But I wanna say this, thank you so much. For being there for me i appreciate it so much more than you'll ever know and guys you guys request a lot you guys request a ton of stuff for scariest media and so i want to say this the next five episodes are only going to be your guys's requests i wanted to start off strong with a song that a lot of people know and a lot of people have even said they want this to be the funeral song and guess what despite me being a classic rock fan i haven't heard this song and it's by none other than the motherfucking best metal band, or one of the best metal bands, Metallica. Fade to Black. Heard that it's basically like a very sad, deep, depressing song, basically about dying and entering into the afterlife. And so guys, I'm ready to fuck. Can't already tell. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? And without further ado, this is Fade to Black by Metallica. All right, in three, two, one. Very nice acoustic guitar right there. Oh man, I love that distorted guitar. Oh. It's nothing like Metallica unless you have like an actually long intro to your song. And this is a beautiful one too. It's not like it's uh, amping you up, it's just like elegant. Super beautiful. <laughs> In many ways, this is giving me like Winds of Change by Scorpions vibe. I don't know why. I think just because that song is also very peaceful in terms of instrumentation. Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh shit, this is so good. Oh, this is so fucking good. Need the end to set me free. Oh, it's such a good line. I mean, so far it's not scary, but I mean, it, it definitely like, is pulling at the heartstrings a little bit. I was me, but now Man, just that meaning of like, you're losing yourself to your own like depression, your own anxiety. A horrible. Horrible, like, realization to have hit you. Oh, Man, the guitar riffs are so good. Oh, man, like, his own depression got to him, and, like, did he just, like... I don't know, did he just, like, die? Did he potentially, like, unalive himself? Like, what just happened there? You know, I don't know if I want to know. I think I like the ambiguity of it. Like, is the potential that he either, you know, offed himself or maybe he, I don't know, maybe he just, you know, was on his deathbed and he just slipped away into the afterlife. I don't really want to know what the actual answer is. I hope that the ambiguity of it sticks around and, like, there isn't an actual answer out there. I hope that there's an ambiguous ending to it all. Leave it up to interpretation, basically. I don't even care if it's ain't really that scared of this song. It's a fucking good song. Oh, shit. Man, that guitar solo is just fucking killing it. Oh, man. And that's it. Now, we are going to look up the meaning officially. Let's just see what the meaning of it is. Yeah, so from basically what I can tell, it's basically just a journey of through mental health and basically how terrible mental health can truly get. That does stick a real nice gut punch to you. But now this isn't saddest media. This is scariest media. But sometimes, sometimes there is nothing more scary than the real world. Real problems, real actual threats 
to our lives. And what is probably one threat that all of us deal with all the time, and that is mental health. We all deal with it in some way, shape, or form. And so guys, without further ado, let's hop into quality and production. Man, I guess, I, you know, I'm gonna keep this simple. The quality production is a two. Not only is it well written, it not only is it well produced, it just manages to actually succeed at what the title is getting forward, what the lyrics are trying to present to you. The feeling of like basically hollowness, the idea of feeling empty and that life isn't worth living. This is a song that manages to hit you with that feeling so, so well. And I really commend Metallica for being able to pull off such a song. And so guys, two out of two, moving into realism. Now with the realism, Sometimes, man, mental health is the real biggest threat to everybody in this world. There's nothing scarier, to me at least, than basically where you are turning against yourself, where you actually think to yourself that your life isn't worth living. To me, that's a horrible place to be in. I have actually been there before. I'm just going to keep this short. My dad passed from prostate cancer when I was, thir or when I was about to turn 13. And because of it, I have dealt with depression. I have dealt with anxiety. I have dealt with the feelings of wanting to, you know, unalive myself. And that is just, it's a horrible place to be in. The idea that life isn't worth living is not a thought that I ever, ever want to again have. I never, ever want to again have that thought. And so I do my best to make sure I at least have some stability, control over at least me, myself, my life. Because if there's anything that we can control in this world, it is us. It is ourselves. If we want to get help, we need to be able to help ourselves to allow others in to help us. Don't push people away. Let them in. And for that, Guys, down in the description, I'm going to have the number to the suicide hotline, just so in that way you guys can actually go ahead and call that if you guys are truly feeling this way. Yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and say that. The song hits. It actually has a very good, realistic message behind it. And sometimes it is just as simple as wanting to just fade away, fade to black. And guys, for it, I think I'm going to also get the realism a 2 out of 2. Now the gore score. Psychological factor is a big one on this one, but because there's not really a whole dive into the lyrical details of like what this person is like planning to feel, it's more or less just the empty hollowness of it, and there's not really more than just the idea of depression, the idea of anxiety, emptiness, and you know, potential unaliving yourself. For that reason, I'm just going to give the gore score a 1 out of 2. Creep factor. Now, this is the one area where I don't think it's going to do so hot. So obviously, mental health, very scary, very serious issue. But is the song itself scary? No, but it is a very good song. The song itself is not scary. It doesn't manage to, you know, hit you in that like very like in your face in like intense feeling. Like if this was more like droning, very more like saddening and depressive than, you know, it being a kick-ass guitar song or a kick-ass rock song with just you know some heavy with some heavy lyrics to it and some good instrumentation to help complement those lyrics while still being a generally good song i think this would definitely score a lot higher on the creep factor but i can't deny that the meaning behind it isn't scary because it most definitely is but the other big thing that i gotta say is that because it feels more approachable it takes away from a little bit of its impact so overall, for the creep factor, I'm feeling a one and a half out of four. So guys, with a two on the quality, a two on the realism, a one out of two on the gore score, and a one and a half out of four on the creep factor, that brings Fade to Black by Metallica to a 6.5 out of 10, which I think is just perfect. A slightly unnerving rating is perfect for the song. It's unnerving, but it's still a good song. It's still a very good song, very easy to come back to and listen, and it it's well made it's realistic it has a decent enough impact in terms of the psychological health and the mental health meaning behind it so guys that's why i'm giving it that 1.5 out of 4. and guys for those who don't know this was recommended to me by modern music same guy who does you know all the copyright free tracks the guy that does the soundtrack for the void that i use in um, obviously, well, The Void and the copyright free tracks that I use in a lot of my videos. So guys, this was recommended by him. Check out his channel. His channel link will be down in the description. 
yeah, my name is Brendan Reviews, and hope you guys have a great day, evening, night, whatever the fuck time you guys are watching this, and I'll see you all next time.